I'm wearing a very specific color for a very specific purpose. I'm in an area where this particular color in this particular calendar makes sense to someone um, or a group, let's say. Um, I'm under this banner. Um, I've, the knowledge has come into my possession that there is a gas, oil, petrol company that goes by the number 76, which happens to be an orange and a blue. Um, and then there is this 75, which when painted incorrectly, there's a 1775 on an army flag in this area that's coming to my attention on Veterans Day. But I have a problem with a local. I call him cancer. He's an insult to my intelligence. Now, here is my background. I arrived to a family who was sons of guns in New York. I also am a granddaughter of August. That's the Zodiac. You can't just eliminate a month off the calendar. Not in Zodiac, not in astrological, not in astronomical. So here we are. So if time in a vacuum for which I arrived, the scene setting was Americans, North Americans, under some New York, under some flag, existed. There was a son of gun. There was a daughter of gun, der, who I arrived to. My escalator ride, if there's a magic escalator in time and space, an escalator is a mechanical device where you magically step on the first rung of the staircase and it just starts moving through time and space and there's a step before you and then there's a magic step behind you. And it's a really good way of explaining something that is completely hard to understand, but easy in an argument to create a vacuum so it doesn't get warped. So there was this daughter of August and daughter of Gunder before me. And there is this daughter and son of August and son of um, Gunder before me on in the same Zodiac one exactly on my escalator ride, the sun. So I followed and I'm on this magical escalator ride and he's part of the Navy, whatever Navy it is for this area when I arrive. And I am on the exact same escalator as he was. Now at global impact, at national impact studies of heraldy and hereditary and how dangerous is this planet that I arrived to in this particular area. He died in his 40s. The daughter of August, the daughter of Gunder, died in her 60s. I am now 44 and I'm experiencing health issues for which there is not a single one of the healthcare providers who are managing my healthcare properly. There's not even anybody I can go to to ask for help. That's a problem. So in this magical escalator ride of a godly sort, after I arrived, I produced another escalator child who's on the same magical ride that I arrived on in space and time 
in a way in aeronautical terms, since this is not a human study. I did not acquire this knowledge from humans in the field. There is a child that comes after me on the exact same escalator. Now, in the field, I've noticed someone that I don't have daily access to. I don't even have familial access to um, for most of my life. It's not like I can just ring somebody and say, excuse me, could you book an appointment with somebody else on my escalator? I'm having a few issues and I don't know where to address them since this is our escalator ride in the same part of the Zodiac. And there are space and time issues for which it's hard to speak on. I don't know. It's frowned upon to speak on, so I don't. So there's that. Um, so it's some magical escalator ride. It defines space and time in a way that groups a very certain intellectual group into a very intellectual, private conversation, no matter where they arrive, no matter at what level they arrived. Um, and so on my magical escalator ride, the two that arrived sh shortly before me in rungs and age whatever, they both died early in New York. It is a frightening turn of events. And now my health is being impacted. And I don't know if it's the warping of time and space, if it's warping of other sciences that are even more frightening, that are controlled by things outside of my knowledge or reach or even vocabulary ability to organize them, to call out for help or to instruct or to advise for someone else to take it under advisement. Um, I see things this morning on the local television. Uh, one is a mention of in my local area at when the terrorists like put airplanes into buildings and that whole set of circumstances that the local are conscious about. Um, there was one religious institution that was hit by the terrorists and it was St. Nicholas. I entered this area on this magical escalator as Nicole. I have a very special family member who goes by the name Nicholas for our very special escalator ride together. So they hit St. Nick. They're now building it. It's now some national historical whatever. Um, and then there's um, so they mentioned that this morning that they're rebuilding St. Nicholas. Um, in New York, they make a big thing of it. It's the CBS 2 News this morning at 6 a.m. It's Tuesday, and it's 12.06. Um, then on CBS Mornings, um, E242, they have something about Tom Brady. Um with some fourth quarter comeback. And I'm looking at his very real symbolic whatever on his sponsored jersey. And it, my father's name is Lou for Luke. And I see he's got four stars and a C. So I see you. It's important. Um, just for getting the story straight. And I'm wearing my Nike. At the moment, which I also see is on there somewhere. Um, at your magical number 12. 
Um, and that magical escalator ride that you're just one rung above where I am in entry points to this planet for not just shoestring budgets, but for quantum entanglement and reality of time and space is in a vacuum. I brought the special sun into this solar system to shed light on this magical escalator ride now that I'm in trouble um health wise um they've kept all sorts of things like opportunity like the correct partner um for um lifelong partner um they've kept me in pretty much a cage system of a series of rooms for which i'm grateful that there's shelter but not much else um so there's that. Um, they also made this movie called Star Wars. They have this set of twins that were kept on separate planets. I do see on your C for CU um, and the Nike check that you wear on this very red and charcoal gray uniform with your white gloves. Um, I do see that there is a tie-in with Luke and then Leia. In my area, it's Zeus and Rhea. R-H-E-A. But they use Leia, L-E-A, I suppose. I'm not quite sure. Um, but they did use the name Luke uh, with Skywalker. I don't really follow the whole whatever. I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's not really, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, the star princess and Luke's position, I kind of sort of, but not really understand. I don't even, I can't even really sift through them. I mean, I've tried. It just, it's difficult. Um, and it doesn't stay with me in memory. So it's not impressionable. Um, although I know there's a very big following of it. But I also know that in this area, Christianity is big. They talk of Mary. They talk of Jesus. They talk of Joseph. Again, astronomical timing. They also mention this um, Magi, the Star King. They have the big North Star. Again, big chunks of reality that when woven incorrectly, like why do they exist in our reality in New York and in the Union of the United States of America, for which they're all in some kind of tribal and national order of some sort? There's a hierarchy to the stars. Even amongst kings, there's a hierarchy. I happen to have a very special timing mechanic on a very special escalator. It's really discernible. I don't know why they've disenfranchised me. I don't know what they disenfranchised me from. Trust? Yeah, that's what it feels like. I don't really trust any of them. Or I have no reason to. They've shown me no kindness, no grace. They would never produced a lifelong journeysman. Somebody from the intelligent community that I deserved to have this very special child with. So now I've had this very special child and now they've taken him from me and given him to a soldier of, or a, a county cop. Let's put it that way. In fashionista terms, he's a county cop. He's like from the flea circus. And he's not even from the flea circus because even the, at fashionista, that gets confusing. He's more of an F-L-E-A problem because he could be useful but mm, he's got tunnel vision and it's not in my favor which causes even more strife Yellow alert showers are expected to move in today. So here's the actual date 
December 6, 2022, on a Tuesday. And could be heavy by tonight. Well, now to a major milestone today in our more than two-decade rebuild and recovery from 9-11. So the only house of worship destroyed in the 2001 terror attacks is officially reopening in the shadow of the World Trade Center site. The new St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church is now also a national shrine. And today marks the start of... A national shrine... It's Greek Orthodox, a church I don't, I've never attended. I don't know how, I don't know their secular system. I've never been offered an invitation to, to even, um, there's some things like I've actually gone to pursue knowledge from Scientology is one of them, but cause it's just, they're more of like a, a they look like a college of some sort, like a college campus. It's just, you walk into the building and then you ask a whole lot of questions and whatever. It's not sacramental. Like the sacramental ornamental churches, the ordained churches are different. I really don't know if there's even any ordaining inside Scientology. I'm not really quick. I'm not really clear. Of regular services and parish life for the church. It's also the first opportunity for the public to go in and see the newly completed church interior. I can say this from our perch last year for the 20 year remembrance of 9 11. So now that 20 year mem remembrance of 9 11. So now, like, my question is, is that like this next clip about like Brady pulling it through in like the fourth quarter for someone at like ridiculous amounts of fashionista like? protection where I'm left here in North America. I mean, like, again, born on this magical escalator. I was already born as this star person that was going to have this very special child on the same magical escalator ride that I entered on. I'm not clear when that makes us star royalty why the fashionista and the fashionista police allowed our care both alexander and myself to be so poor and for the uh, ability to even like interview with intelligent community respectable like that reach was somehow thwarted in order to have the special child with. I also noticed that the Star of David, uh, if you take those two triangles and you move them ever so slightly in a geometrical turn of events, it makes a Christmas tree. Just saying. I know a Jesse, Jesse for Jesse tree is the biological grandfather of David. So for Star of David, welcome aboard. This is the magical escalator ride, and this is what they're teaching in New York for Sons of Guns and for the Sons of August and on this magical escalator ride. Is that like the rebuilding of St. Nicholas Church in New York after this terrorist attack? It's like, touchdown! We got a national landmark. Now we can start work on rebuilding whatever it is that they broke. Because they were fearful of some girl on a magical escalator ride who's going to bring a very special kid in the world that a lot of people follow and they understand that it's real and they believe it's real. But then it actually arrives and everybody's like, yeah, oh, I'm not paying for it. I'm not going to contribute. I'm not going to make sure she has a nice time. And I mean, like, it's just like church in action. Where? Incidentally, same episode, E242, um, they mention people over prophets. Um, 
and they're closing hospitals at this point. Something to do with private equity, taking out billion dollar loans and just taking the cash out and then sinking the whole whatever into an even worse position. I don't really understand it. I can. And again, I can see it from both sides. Um, I mean, they took advanced medical equipment and devices. They were supposed to help a specific population of people. And then they did some kind of switcheroo. And so now somebody's trying to bankrupt the whole system, it looks like, and just collapse the healthcare system. Yeah, great. Doesn't help me on my magical escalator ride. I mean, it's just what my the treatment of me since I've been here as a magi and as a star princess, like to star king relationship in like really important in hierarchy of a certain class of people, but yet left like some random selection birthday with no escalator. Why is that? I mean, there's no excuses in the really hard to reach places. It's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Caterusa. It's earth solar system. Milky way universe galaxy is broken and it's Bayside station, Bayside, New York, one, one, three, six, one.